In this video about Ron DeSantis and his immigration reform, I'm going to piss off Republicans and Democrats, but you got to stay to the end because there's a closer that's fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Welcome to the Black Table. Ron DeSantis just passed the immigration law. He just signed some shit. That's the hardest immigration reform measures in the country in any state. This guy jumped out the gym, Johnson. He jumped out the gym on him, and no one wants to have a real conversation about it. I remember Osim Frimpong. I remember would talk about it, though I haven't heard him talk about it, but I'm sure if he did talk about it, and I know he's not afraid to talk about it, he would say some real shit. <laughs> so, um... Let's listen a little bit. So, so this Florida bill, SB 171718, like I said, it's a, it's a stringent bill. It bans local governments from issuing identification cards for people who can't prove their citizenship. No state ID. I didn't even know you could get a state ID without a citizenship. I thought I thought that was like a requirement. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. So it's a different world. Require hospitals. They accept Medicaid to include a question to take on intake forms about the patient's citizenship status. Damn. So now your ass can't go to the doctor if you're not a citizen. That's cold-blooded. He bans undocumented law school graduates from being admitted to the Florida bar. Mm -mm, all at work. Damn. What he's saying is get the hell out of Florida. What else you got to say to get people to leave Florida? I know you lived here probably your entire lives or whatever or for a very long time. You have roots in Florida. Time to leave Florida. For real. Like this guy, the governor of Florida, don't want you in Florida. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> I'm about to hurt some feelings here, man, because, listen, it sounds like you are being treated like black people. We had what was called sundown towns. Black people were not able to be, like, anywhere. Same thing. We had the same thing. Now, it was about six years ago. Not that long ago. Some still exist. Some still exist. <laughs> One of them is called College Park, Maryland. <laughs> um, Upper Marlboro Montgomery County is the whole county don't be in that county if you black yo shit I was driving today down 210 and you from the DMV you know what's up you bammers picking up some marble sauce and some blue crabs nah I wasn't but I just want to make sure y'all know what time it is by the big chair Nah, man, the cop pulled up behind me, and I'm I'm over 50. I'm 53 now. And I felt like, oh, this motherfucker might pull me over. This motherfucker wanna... He ran my shit. I guess he's other old guy. But I just want you to know that they treat undocumented people. This is... So for all my bleeding heart liberal people, all my people really concerned about this, and I'm, I'm gonna finish the list, this sounds like they treated undocumented people like niggas. But we were documented and we were citizens, but we didn't have citizens' rights. So Ron DeSantis wants to treat them like we were treated. Do you know what I mean? You know how, so I guess the undocumented people are going to be willing to die to get rights because that's what we had to do. We had to march in the streets. Is that what they're about to do? They're about to go marching and get water holes and dogs sick on them and are their leaders going to get shot in the head and executed? How far will they go? Are their, are their, are their churches going to be bombed? I'm just wondering what's going to happen or are they just going to use all the shit we've done as a ladder to get their freedom? While a bunch of crying ass liberals tell us we don't care enough about we not crying hard enough for the undocumented people hmm. I'm not saying it's right but I'm saying do you understand the predicament that you put black people in 
Do you understand that you don't understand? Do you understand that you don't understand? Hey, do you understand that you don't know what you're talking about? Do you understand you don't know what this is like? You're talking to a conscious person who knows our history. I don't know everything, but I know a lot of shit. It's hard not to, man. You know how many articles I've had to read to cover this shit? Done over six, over 7,000 shows. You know how many articles that is? You know how much research that is? I know some things. I can't forget it. So, increased penalties for human trafficking related offenses. Well, you can't even be mad at that. I mean, <laughs> human trafficking penalties. Beefing up the required e verified federal database employers can use to check a worker's employment eligibility. And also finding corporations that hire undocumented people. Not just going after the people, but going after the corporations. I think it was $10,000 or it could have been $100,000. Like finding the corporations mm -hmm. that if you find out, they find, and, and if you don't e verify, if you have over 25 employees, you got to use the e verify, e -verify system. So it's a lot. It's the toughest shit in America. Now, we all know that Ron DeSantis is doing this because he's running against Trump or he's about to announce that he's running against Trump. And then we got Joe Biden. The Title 42 is expiring, which means we were able to keep a lot of people out of the country using Title 42 because of COVID-19. And now that that's expiring, I think it's Wednesday, mm -hmm. the floodgates will return. Yep. And they're like, well, well, this is a good time because Republicans are going to be mad about that. And a lot of border states will be mad about that. Now, if you're in middle America, they're not affected by this. You know? But Ron DeSantis is using this to his benefit. So he's not doing this. So so a couple things. One of them is he's not doing this to benefit black people. Please, black people, don't. Don't don't clap. Don't be like, ah! This ain't, this ain't for our benefit. Just because they won't, they don't want. Just because Ron DeSantis doesn't want the undocumented people hired doesn't mean he wants you hired. Okay? Let's keep that real. There's still other people that they are hired before black people. They'll hire, they'll hire AI first. Should they hire AI before they hire any of us? So I don't want us to become part of the symphony of people that are clapping for this. But I do want to keep it a buck it's not as cut and dry as people make it seem. There are some downsides to it. For one, you may pay $20 for a pound of apples. Because who's going to pick them motherfuckers? If, if black people got to pick them, we want $20 an hour. There's going to be some downsides. You may pay $30 for a pound of bananas. Because if white people got to pick them, they want $30 an hour. See, that's just how it's going to work. I don't know if Ron DeSantis has done the math on this. So there's some downsides to it. There's going to be some people that do not live in Florida who are going to be impacted because the supply chain of fruits and vegetables that are grown in Florida and anything else that's manufactured in Florida that would usually be handled by undocumented people that you could screw over and pay $2 an hour. Now your ass might lose your business. You have to hire American citizens we have a minimum wage and shit like that who want real money. Not that fake money, not that monopoly money you was giving the, the undocumented people. They're taking Estefiana in the back room and doing who knows what because these people are degenerates what they've been doing to undocumented people. Let's keep that a buck. Let's make sure people understand what's been going on in America and not just, not just in Florida. In some of our coastal cities as well. Coastal states. Some of the elites do some. Last I checked, Jeffrey Epstein, he was California, right? So anyway, I don't want people clapping for this, but I want you to recognize that there's two sides of this. Now, some economists say this may also be some pros to this, which is the cost of living goes up. If you gotta pay Americans more money, they get more money to spend and that more money goes into the economy and that therefore makes more people, you know, you go buy a better car, buy a new car, buy, I don't know, a TV, a new flat screen TV. You'll be able to do stuff because now you're making more money. I still think that 
Employers got to find a way to wiggle around black people, hire other people instead. There's still a, a, lots of other groups of people that they can hire before they get to the black people. But every little bit counts. And that's the thing, people got to understand. It doesn't work when I got progressives or the, the, the so-called progressives, the so-called left or whatever, telling me what black people need, how we need to look at shit. Don't do that. We look at it like we look at it. I remember my, I remember my dad used to tell me because he was in the construction, and he didn't own a construction company or no shit like that. Sort of worked his way up. He became like a foreman at some point. But I remember for years you told me for years he said, "Tim, the Spanish are taking over the construction business. I can't get a black person hired. We can't do this. We can't do that." It's all Hispanics. And they wound up paying them all. And I was like, Dad, come on, man. Man, call the Moose. Moose, man, I ain't be so hard on the Hispanics, man. I ain't saying that, man. They gotta feed their families. The black people gotta feed their families too, Tim! He never said that back. He should have. He should have smacked all the shit out of me and said that back to me. But the city just got quiet and went about his business and said, my son don't know shit. He want to be a writer. He a smarty arty nigga. <laughs> Till Black want to be a writer. He looked at me like I was crazy. My mom and my dad grew up in the 50s and the 60s, dog. When black people sat on the back of the bus and black people that talk like me died. First black person in my family had rights of a white man. So it was far for me to think I'm going to be a writer. Anyway, the point is, he told me, so I'm standing up for I'm standing up for you, Moose. I'm saying this shit. I wish I would have said it 15 years ago or 20 years ago or 30 years ago when you were telling me, I feel you now, Dad. I know what you meant now. I become educated. They hire the Hispanics, pay them coins, overlook us. Leave us unemployed. So when people say, "What happened to Chicago?" They don't even want to. They don't even want to hear me say, "Well, you hire Hispanics and you don't hire the blacks. You underpay the Hispanics. The blacks don't have jobs and the neighborhoods go to shit." No, it's got to be that you listen to rap music and you have you don't respect yourselves and you have kids. You mean we have sex? Oh, like white people do too. And you don't take care of your kids. Well, it takes money to take care of kids. Number one reason why families break apart is financial. They say if you take away a man's livelihood, that's a kind of killing him. But you know, all I'm saying is it's not as cut and dry. So there's pros and cons. And at the end of the day, none of this is done to benefit black people at all. So don't let it yourself be sold on it to that extent or for that purpose. It's not. I had Dr. Derek Hamilton on my show and we talked about this. He said he has no data to really prove that the immigration deal undercuts black people, but I think it's kind of obvious that it kind of does. Like, yeah. Like, I have no data to prove that Mrs. Black likes my cooking, but she don't need a plate with food on it. The plate comes back empty. It's no data point. So, yeah. Immigration does impact us. Some Republicans say that shit, but then they don't want us in the neighborhoods and then they want to mass incarcerate us. So, they just say it. You know, they say, yeah, but black man, the Democrats, they want open sanctuary cities. That's who you think that hurts. Then I go, you know what? You got a point, good point of a vote for you. What's your stance on uh, ending mass incarceration? Oh, we can't do that. We got to have safe streets. We got to lock all you niggas up. What? <laughs> the hell? Why would I vote for you? Stop doing what you've been doing. Do something different. Turn the love around. Stop being so coy. Every once in a while, I get the black person to like, too. And I know what it is, man. You, you like, you want a place to go. You have nowhere to go. Neither do white people if they really think about it. It's just they're so fooled by the propaganda. They have nowhere to go. Both parties suck, Johnson. They just do. So anyway, so Ron DeSantis, his immigration thing, I'm not pulling my hair out because I don't have hair and because some of this shit I thought you couldn't do anyway. 
How you help practicing law, not a citizen? How you upholding laws in a law degree as a lawyer without being like, a, how the hell you do that? I didn't even know that was in there. That's crazy. The Black Table. The Black Table live streams 7 p.m. Sundays on Facebook and YouTube. See you there.